Managing your event. You've been a busy bee. Your profile is looking good and now has a decent sting in its tail. Brimming with pride as you are, your event is also up and running. And you're all set to go visit some flowers and gather some nectar. People have come to your event site, filled in details, and they have booked a ticket. Now it's time to pay. They have two options. As you can see, at the bottom of the page, they can either pay directly into your PayPal account, which is recommended, or they can make offline arrangements to pay you, which will require you to manage the process. Setting up a PayPal account is quick and easy. Also, depending on your refund policy, money paid up front is cash in hand, but you might want to just accept payment at the event instead. Let's see what people having bought tickets looks like to you as a member on your platform. To do this, you need to be logged in. Go back to the top right-hand corner to do this. Once you're done, navigate to the menu bar at the top of the page and click on Events. In the drop-down options, click on Manage My Events Bookings. This page will give you a summary of all the events you are hosting. Under Recent Bookings, you will notice a filter that shows future events with the first 20 people who have a confirmed booking. Just below that, you will see the names of people who have purchased tickets. In this space, you can find details of the ticket holders, reject their booking, or delete them. This is just in case the buzz around your event means you're getting so big in your bee boots and you now have stalkers. If attendees are fellow wee buzz bees, their icon and all their details will appear when you click on this link. If they are not members, there will not be a profile picture, but the details that they populated when signing up will have pulled through and will be reflected here. You can also manage the event from the listing at the bottom of the screen. Simply click on the bolded name of the event. You can also see how many spaces have been booked of those that are available. Once you have clicked on the event, you will find three additional buttons where you can view the event, edit it, or add another booking. At the bottom of the screen under Bookings, you will find the names of those who have completed bookings, listed in the filter under All. Let's discuss what the descriptor Awaiting Payment means. Navigate back to the screen you were on earlier by clicking on the left arrow in the very top left-hand corner of your screen. You will see that your filter is set to Confirmed, which means that your client has made payment or the event is free of charge. If you click on the filter options, you will see a drop-down menu which displays different filters. In this example, if you adjust the filter to All, you will see the three people who have indicated they will be attending your event. Two have paid, or were given a complimentary ticket, and one still needs to pay. Before we proceed, remember that you have control over the event and its attendees. You can approve, reject, delete, or view and edit each attendee as listed in the rows of names. Now, as the event organizer, you will also receive an email to alert you to people who have taken up tickets. The email will specify if a payment has been made when the event is a paid one, or if a booking has been confirmed if the event is free of charge. The email will read Booking Confirmed with details of who has booked the ticket shown in the body of the mail. If a person did not pay for the event using your PayPal option, then the email will read Event Booking Pending. You will then need to contact this person to arrange for payment via Electronic Funds Transfer, EFT or cash on the day of the event. The individual who booked the tickets also receives an email, which they will receive once they have clicked the Submit button. The image of the event, details and how many tickets they have booked will appear in their email. In this example, the booking is also listed as Pending because the attendee still has to make an offline payment. However, they do have a calendar invite, so they can add this to their calendar if they prefer, accessing the designated program they use for this. In terms of clients that still need to pay you for the event, their booking remains as pending until you approve it, 
in the Manage My Events Bookings section of your WeBuzz profile. Once you approve, a pop-up box will notify you that you are approving the booking because you have received payment. In the case where you are accepting payment on the day, the system will register this as a paid booking once you have approved it. So be sure to keep a record of who needs to make payment on the day, if you have different payment options available. This approved booking will then also be sent by email to the attendee. You as the host will likewise receive an email indicating that this attendee's booking has now been confirmed. In the attendee's inbox, the confirmed booking can now be added to their diary if this has not already been done by their software. Remember, while all of this may seem a little overwhelming, you are more than capable of managing the process of collecting all your nectar for conversion to honey. Think back to when you were still learning to drive a car. It all seemed overwhelming at the time, and now it's second nature. So, your attendees have all received their email notifications for your event, and you're all set to fly. They will receive a final email reminder on the day before the event to jog the memory. This first way of managing your events, as we have just discussed, is to click on Events in the menu bar at the top of the page, and then to click on Manage My Event Bookings. But there is a second way, designed to make the WeBuzz website as convenient to use as possible. Click on your profile in the top right-hand corner and access your home page, which acts as your personalized landing page or your own mini website. In the menu bar, just below your landscape cover photo, buzz on over to Events and click on it. Your Events page will tell you both which events you are hosting and those you are attending. Remember though, the ability to create events is only available to Queen Bee profiles. Below the main menu bar, you can view your profile again, and you can review and edit your events here too. If you're on one of the paid tier packages, you can also view the number of people who have booked to attend your event under My Events Bookings. Again, it is possible to set your filters to give you a dashboard idea of the status of your potential attendees. Under Recent Bookings, click on the icon on the left-hand side to export your attendee database. This is a handy tool if your event was a buzzing success and you want to inspire people to attend another one by contacting them directly. You can also filter your events in terms of time, past, current, and future events, or take a look at all your events. And there you have it. Remember, WeBuzz has been designed to help you grow your business by thriving as part of a community. We're here for you, so welcome aboard.